Adventurers, it is Hutch again with Ready Set Adventure Box and the Conk Whistle. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff with search and rescue, especially as my um, old dot job, and it is one of the most important tools is a whistle, right? But when you're blowing a real whistle, you're, you're told actually to cover your ears, and you really want to be playing with one in the house. So the, I thought the conch whistles were an amazing way because, as you can tell, they sound more like a musical instrument. It's a great way to practice and let little adventurers have fun. And then when you go out to the woods, they can use um, a regular whistle. So help me practice this real quick, buddy. Um, internationally, anywhere you go, if you blow one time with a whistle, can you blow one time? That means that somebody wants your attention. It could be a scout leader, it could be um, a search and rescue, maybe you're down by the water fishing and you can't hear your mom and dad. Um, but if you blow two times, can you guys blow two times? That means come to me. So if you are down by the water and they blow two times, maybe they saw a bear or maybe they need help with some chores or you know, there can be any number of reasons they want you to come to them. And this one's the most important. Anywhere you go around the world, if you blow one, two, three, and then take a break, so tweet, 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 one, two, three, tweet, 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 one, two, three. That always means distress and that you need help. You guys want to try that? Can you go one, two, three, and then take a break? Blow it three times. One, two, three. Now take a break, yeah. And then blow it two times. Anywhere you go, that is an international symbol for distress with anything, whether it's a flashlight or a whistle, and kids are never, ever too young to start learning this. Um, as someone who has done search and rescue, if, if people layer properly and carry a whistle, those are two of the most important things. Anyway, don't forget that not only is it a great practice whistle, but it's also kind of a cool musical instrument. Have some fun, and we can't wait to hear from you. So the conch whistle looks super cool. It's great as a musical instrument if you need to practice tempo and beat if you're doing homeschooling or anything. And we'll also teach you how to make some musical instruments in the future from stuff around the house. But I want to show you the way to make a whistle, a real emergency whistle, anywhere you go. All you need is something round that will capture air. So think caps or remember it has to be round. So it could be the acorn shell, it could be a seashell, it could be uh, one of the perfect things to practice with is the top from a water bottle. And not only does it have to be round, but it has to be able to capture some air. That's why a cap is perfect. Now the green marker here is showing we need to block off a majority of this cavity to make a whistle. So everywhere that there's green, we need to block that so no air gets in when we blow. But then up there where it's purple, we're actually going to blow right across that. And here, I'll color it in so it's a little easier to see. Here where it's purple, when you're making a whistle, you blow right across this. And that's what's going to make your whistle. And these things are super loud. So once you find a bottle cap, or maybe you find an acorn top, anything like that, remember we just have to block everything off and make that V. And here's how we do it. We make this sort of shape with our thumb, and we push it on as hard as we can. Now the size of your hands will allow you to use different bottle caps. And see, we've blocked off everything from before, and we've got that air opening, and we're gonna breathe over that. Whether you're out in the woods or just butchering a song, there's Every no such thing as a small adventure. Town, the boys keep kicking my dog around. You might say he's just a hound, but you ought to not kick my dog around.